Okay, so the weather probably wasn't ideal, but the setting certainly made up for it. Fort McHenry is a great place for learning, and a group of students got to experience that today by land and sea. 11 News reporter Megan Pringle explains. The program is called Experience Fort McHenry by Land and Sea. It's a three way partnership between the city of Baltimore, the pride of Baltimore, too, and Fort McHenry. When these eighth graders from Roland Park showed up at Fort McHenry, they thought it was just a regular field trip. We are so, so lucky in Baltimore City Public Schools to have the pride of Baltimore and Fort McHenry right here that we can use. And when they come here, the kids do more than just learn history. They come here and they live history. And what better place to live history than Fort McHenry? Especially for modern audience, modern students, you have to have something special. So, I mean, seeing the ship like the Pride of Baltimore, it's like, wow, that's really neat. Going into the original fort, it's like, wow, I've seen it online, but this is the real deal. The group splits up. They take turns experiencing the fort by land. Which way is north on this map? And by sea. This is actual living history, so they're not reading about it. They're not they're not touring a um, you know a museum. They're actually doing some of the same things that people in Baltimore were doing 200 years ago during the bicentennial. So it's a timely lesson. Plus, eighth graders at Baltimore City Schools are getting ready to learn about this in the classroom. In social studies, we didn't really touch on it a lot. Um, he tried to discuss it a little bit because we were in the Revolutionary War, which is a couple of years before. So we're getting to it. Samantha Solomon thinks she'll like history a lot more after this experience. Yeah, I think it will like interest. Me more because you know I'm not learning like I mean like learning it out of the book like I get to like kind of actually experience like being there. That's the whole point. A lot of these students, you know, some have never left their own neighborhoods for very long or, or left the city, and a lot of people, you know, say, well, man, nothing really important happened in my hometown. Well, it did. It is the birthplace of the national anthem. The program is in its second year. It not only gets kids out of the classroom onto the boat and learning in a different way, it also installs city pride. At Fort McHenry, Megan Pringle, WVAL TV 11 News.